Harlan, I'm Director of Data Management in the Texas Department of Transportation Planning Division. Uh, that's going to throw me off a little bit. I might have some fun with this. <laughs> um, all right, the Texas Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Plan. This came about in 2021. Uh, basically, Texas will receive the largest amount of federal funding for installing EV charging in Texas. It's close to about half a billion dollars when you total it all up over five years. Uh, the private sector will kick in 100 million of that. It's an 80-20 program. Uh, we think the network will support more than a million EVs when built out. That's an important number because the city just alluded to, there's over 20 million vehicles in Texas and 1 million EVs will need more charging. So this network will not cover all the charging that you need in Texas, it's just the first batch of charging for what we'll need in Texas. The first uh, round has 56 locations, so they're along with mostly the interstate, so you think Interstate 10, Interstate 20, there'll be at least four connectors per location, think of it as plugs or pumps when you go into a fueling station. Uh, there'll be more along the coast for uh, emergency evacuation. We're currently in the open application window now. The application uh, window for the first round ends October 16th. A lot of people ask, how much power is this gonna take? They think they plug in their electric vehicle and the grid's gonna collapse. That couldn't be any further from the truth. So when built out, this first phase is 46 megawatts of power. And some people say, okay, that's, that's interesting, but what do we compare that to? How many megawatts are in the Texas grid on a day like you know today? Anybody know? 70, 80,000 megawatts. How many of those are free? Anywhere from five to 10,000 free. So we're talking 